Do you keep on dying on fighting the Segunda boss? Are you struggling to beat him up? Well, today I'm going to teach you the tips and tricks that you need to know before fighting the Segunda boss. I promise that this guy will help you a lot to understand how skill issue does the Segunda boss have. This might help you on time kits as well. If you find this helpful, why not consider subscribing and join my Discord server. Without further ado, let's go! You need to maximize your resurrection skills first before you fight Segunda boss, or else it will be a little bit harder for you to kill the Segunda boss. I recommend maxing out your stats first before fighting the Segunda boss, because fighting up the Segunda boss is really hard since you can deal so much damage with your own resurrection into your combos as well. So maxing your stats will help a lot and will give you more chances to kill Segunda rather than getting killed so easily with your low stats level. But if you're competent enough to perfect block every moves of Segunda boss, that might be the moment you don't need to max out your stats and go for it. It's totally up to you where you will put your stats on. It all depends on your resurrection whether it is spirit or strength. Just remember to give some space to your vitality. However, before fighting Segunda boss, you need to master your own combo first. Whether you are Basil, Beast, Astra, mastering your own combos will help you a lot to do a lot of damage to the Segunda boss. Rather than just spamming up your skills which can expose you to get punished by the Segunda boss itself. Once you have mastered it, you will be more comfortable fighting the Segunda boss and you will be able to determine much easier pattern. <laughs> Observing the pattern is way too helpful not just to the Hakomundo creatures like Ajujas or Bastelord, but to the Segunda boss itself. Mastering the pattern is like mastering how to counter the specific enemy itself because the pattern always repeat no matter how much you fight them and I'm always pretty sure that you will be able to understand the Segunda pattern. You need to empty your money or save it by the help of your friend because fighting the Segunda boss will surely be challenging to you and you might lose a lot of money by dying a lot. So the best way to save your money is to have your friend to be a banker. Having a banker will prevent you from losing money because every time you die from the Segunda boss, you will lose like a lot of money. But if you have no friends and you're being an introvert, you can just put it somewhere else that no one can see or hide it somewhere. But I don't recommend you to hide it somewhere or they might steal it. So the reason why you need to keep walking backwards is to prevent the Segunda boss to humiliate you with the long range attack. There are many possibilities on how the Segunda will fight you but from what I know, getting closer to the Segunda boss is not a good idea. His beast attack are kinda ridiculous and you don't really really dare to get combo at or you are just gonna be dead with one combo. Walking backwards will not only prevent you from getting comboed but also will give you more time to cook him. We can call this technique as a moonwalking, just like Michael Jackson. I don't mean that to let him cook you to death, but you have to let him cook his own dashes until he runs out. I can take example of this on Ajuches. If you guys know how to counter Ajuches is to simply wait them to dash. Then that will be the moment where you will punish the Ajuches and start cooking up your combo. But on the Segunda boss, it will dash a lot of times and can be really really hard to track. So keep in mind that he might do a long range attack like Seros. So let him cook first, then you can cook him finally. Using your own accessory is very helpful. Why? Because this accessory can literally increase your stats and it can also increase the number of your dashes. Just remember, don't wear a cat ears. Moving on to the last one, I will explain to you every phases in short words. Phase 1, you just need to damage the boss for a bit then he will commit gone. Phase 2, just fight the adjuches like how you farm a bastelord. It's a free round so you'll get a bonus health regen. Phase 3, the boss has more skills but only with his resurrection. Damage him like what you did in phase 1, remember he has... Phase 4, you will be fighting an iron car this time. Just think like you're hunting a storm iron car. Phase 5, this part is the most annoying one. This iron car is very aggressive and it is the acceleration one. Just keep blocking and dodging and punish him. Last phase, the boss is back but he got everything including the segunda form. Don't get caught and let his segunda drain. Then you can start cooking. Now that you have master on how to beat up the boss, you're now a boss by yourself by applying all of this trick. Can we get 2000 likes for the next video? Subscribe and join my discord server if you want to be in my video or get a free nitro. Stay awesome. Peace.